Bard of Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by dark wizards he was. Excuse me, did you say something about a Bard of Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumour is he was seen in the forest practising dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. Shame, really. With Ranrock's camps cleared out, I have a feeling he'd have given up on dark magic altogether. Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seemed somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think Bardolf may have simply run off? No. Bardolf's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive or worse. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper, one that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Excuse me, Mrs. Sprottle. Any news on Bardolf Beaumont's disappearance? Afraid not. I've spoken with Claire, still worried sick about her brother. He was last seen heading towards the forest with one of Victor Rookwood's lot. Madam Beaumont, might I speak with you? Oh, I'd be happy to speak with you. Especially after your help ridding us of Ran Rock's loyalists. Mrs. Sprottle told me a little more about your brother, Bardolf. Oh, dear Dorothy. She'd go looking for Bardolf herself if she could. She mentioned dark magic and even the Ashwinders. Despite my repeated warnings, Bardolf's been experimenting with dark magic near the edge of the forest. I thought perhaps he'd get it out of his system and it would gradually stop. But then one day, he didn't come home. Could Bardolf have run off? No, he'd never leave me here alone. He did speak of going to talk with Victor Rookwood. That worries me almost more than his attempts at mastering dark magic. Rookwood is as dangerous as Ranrock, in my opinion. Is there anything your brother took with him that might help to track him down? Hmm, only his satchel, journal, and a woolen jumper I knitted for him. That's all I can recall. I'll let you know if I see or hear anything about him. Thank you. How kind. I'd be so grateful to learn where he is. I know in my heart he's out there. Do be careful. I should be going now. Thank you. Bardolf, where are you? I'll not give up hope. Madame Beaumont, any news regarding your brother Bardolf? I'm afraid not. He was last seen in his wool jumper, practicing curses with Ashwinders near the forest. I should be going now. Thank you. Is that a fiend wearing a woolly jumper? That must be Bardolf.
An entry from Bardolf's journal. He overheard whispers, a plan, something to do with him. This mentions in theory, and something about it being Bardolf's turn next. Madam Beaumont, I do have some news of your brother. Oh. Please tell me he's safe. I regret to say that Bardolf had been turned into an Inferius, and I had to kill him. What? But... but how could you possibly think that an Inferius was my brother Bardolf? That's absurd! He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand-knitted. <gasps> no! No! This can't be! I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madam Beaumont. <laughs> what more could I have done? Oh, Bardolf! Bardolf, my dear, dear brother. I'd have bet my last galleon he'd been kidnapped, but turned into an inferior. Poor man. And poor Claire. What are you looking for exactly? Thank you for passing through. Madam Beaumont, I do have some news of your brother. Oh, please tell me he's safe. I'm afraid he's joined the Ashwinders and has no interest in returning. But what? No, no, this can't be. He was seeking their advice, that's all. I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madame Beaumont. <laughs> what more could I have done? Oh, Bardolf! Bardolf, my dear, dear brother. 